Hi there, Marriott Martinez here, and I am so excited to share with you my Asana makeover as of early 2023. I have been using Asana for over a decade, and every year I come back in and build efficiencies and also invest in Asana courses and Asana experts to build better ways and smarter ways to use this productivity app. And now I get to show you my newest boards and my Asana makeover as of 2023. So let's get started. I am now implementing the home page. So the home page is here on the left hand navigation. If you click on home, you can customize basically a home base to see your priority tasks, to see your favorite projects, and you can even create a customized private notepad with some of your favorite things, and I love emojis. So this is what I put on my notepad. You can customize your homepage by clicking on the far right customize button. You can put in a custom colored background and a few more widgets. Now this is pretty new for Asana, so you can send feedback to share what else you'd like to do to customize your homepage. Now let's click on My Tasks. The My Tasks is a great example of how you can choose to look at your tasks from either a list view, a board view, which is very similar to the Trello view that many are accustomed to, or what I love is the calendar view, so you can truly see your calendar and focus on building that CEO schedule that designed to serve your type of business. These are the tasks or the to-dos that you're going to assign to yourself, and you can also see team members' calendars as well if you start using Asana for your team. Here on the left-hand navigation, you can also create what are called teams, and the teams allow you to pretty much departmentalize your business. My business has been split up into the executive team, which is everything related to building and designing my business, and that's really where I spend the majority of my time. My operations is a shared board with my team members. I have my clients board that are related to my creator and educator role, and I have my members board that are related to Master Books Learning Center and all of the tasks and projects related to my learners and members. Sales and marketing is where I put everything related to my sales and marketing funnels. I also have a personal board, and this is one of the greatest benefits of Asada. It's being able to create templates from the projects and tasks that you do every day or most often your business, and then you can duplicate these templates and bring them back into your boards on a weekly, monthly, or even annual basis. And those are the quick teams that I have. Now let's jump into my favorites area so you can see my favorite boards. This all things business board was inspired by one of the Asana educators by the name of Alex from her course Asana Assistant. And it basically provided me the opportunity to bring everything, all things business related onto one board, which also includes my executive tasks that I wanna do like checking in on my daily to-dos, my one-on-one -on -one meetings, my weekly reoccurring meetings, and my executive to-dos, whether they're soon to be done or in the near future. In addition to that, I have everything else related to my business in one place. So this is going to be a huge time and lifesaver. My second board that I spend quite a bit of time on is the weekly business tracking board. And I'm gonna spend a few minutes sharing with you about this board, because this is truly part of my CEO systems. And so the weekly business tracking board essentially allows me to track my business progress on a weekly basis. But here is the key functionality of this board and what makes it so unique. This board is built on what's called a customized board with customized fields. So Asana allows you in the pro version to add customized fields to your database list view. So that way your boards could even sum up or add specialized fields like with answers to them, like in this case, yes or no answers, or you can even add fields that just have text. I'm here on the week of January 2nd through the 6th of 2023. It's my very first week. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and update the board as of the end of the week. So what was my revenue this week? What was my profit this week? How many courses I sold? And what's really important here is I'm just going to add what happened this week. So let's say I sold 10 courses this week. That's going to start summing up the number here on the bottom, which is super powerful to see your total that's pretty much accumulating for your business. Now, in regards to the questions, I asked myself some questions like, did I create content for Master Your Books this week? Did I create content for my partners this week? Did I send out a newsletter? Did I collaborate? Did I have any virtual or live chats? And did I do something to uh, grow my audience? For instance, making a video like this would be a great example of that. Once I've done that work, I also jump into the details of this task. So even though it looks like one line item, there's actually magic under that. Let's click on details and see that magic. This weekly task also has some really important items inside of it. Again, the beauty of Asana is you can really build out your task as detailed as you want. In my case, I like to look at this task twice a week. And of course, I jump in throughout the week to stay motivated. On Monday, I use this to prepare for the week and then also to set my weekly goals. On Friday, I use this to reflect on the week and ask myself some really important questions about how my week went. In addition, I also like to go ahead and separate my tasks as tasks that I can check off throughout the week so I can feel that achievement of checking off those to-dos throughout the week. And that's pretty much how I get myself to be motivated, stayed inspired, and keep track of my progress throughout the week. And of course, on a monthly basis, I would do a higher level review of my month. And that's pretty much how I use the individual boards on Asana. I really hope this was helpful and to learn much more about how I have taken my productivity online to the next level, feel free to check out my course, Business Planning Essentials. Go to masteryourbooks.com, click on Choose Your Learning and find out everything that this course has to offer, including the behind the scenes of my Asana. Hope this was helpful and see you at Master Your Books.